top 30 new summer fragrances that I'm going to be wearing the most. Part 2. Stay tuned after this intro. What is going on guys and welcome again to another video. I did part one and the video was actually way too long so I decided just to cut it in half to you know to make it easier for me to edit and to make it not way too long for you guys as well to enjoy. So let's just cut this story short with my second bucket of fragrances part two and the first one that I have here that I grabbed randomly it's a fragrance that I usually have or did to dress up for it going out at night to enjoy it and I'm talking about Reflection Man by Amouage this one also is the non-magnetic so performance on this one is pretty good as well but any Reflection Man honestly will do you're just gonna have to overspray and spray your clothes and trust me sometimes you think it vanished it went away but it just comes back when your body temperature actually rise up this one does very well in the summer heat so this one would do great daytime you're just gonna have to be dressing up for it because this one is on the classier side or nighttime as well this one does very very well nighttime as well it leans a little bit old schoolish but i truly enjoy that old schoolish vibe that this one gives and you know what if Amouage made another reflection man flanker of it kind of like Percival with a lot of Ambroxin added into it it's just gonna make it very old schoolish that vibe that it gives but very much modernized and it will enhance significantly the performance of Reflection Man. So Amouage, think about that. Get another flanker of Reflection Man with added Ambroxin. It's just gonna modernize it and it will enhance the performance and it would attract younger people as well because this one leans a little bit for older people in a way but I truly enjoy it a lot. The jasmine note here is big. It is very masculine. This is the most masculine jasmine note that I've smelled personally and it gets compliments it compliments it it smells distinguished so if you want to have a distinguished smelling type of a scent uh, reflection man it's a very candidate for that it's a very good one try it out and you're just gonna have to dress up for it just to play the part Another beautiful, very casual smelling type of a scent I personally enjoy from the House of Mancera and I'm talking about Soleil d'Italie. This is like a mixture of a bunch of citruses, great performance. There's all type of citruses you can ever think of on this one. There's the bergamot, there's the mandarin, there's the grapefruits, everything everything is just a mixture of all these citruses all combined together but it smells good it smells very good in fact very casual smelling again very vibrant aromatic summery casual did i say casual yes i did but it's it's a good one another great one that i personally love daytime especially like after a shower when it's like hot outside but you just had like a great shower and you feel clean and refreshed and just to get that double refreshed feeling which is a great feeling try another 13 by Lolabo it's a very musky scent but clean musk oh my god take a shower preferably cold shower wear lighter colored clothes and douse yourself with another 13 and just go out just go out bro just go out and you'll enjoy that fragrance a lot and you will feel like a million bucks well million bucks nowadays with the inflation doesn't worth shit but you will feel like a billion bucks okay with this one right here casual or dressed up it doesn't really matter this one is very versatile in terms of your clothes attire daytime though and you'll thank me later beautiful beautiful scent try it out let's get this green bottle out of the way because it was just calling my eyes this whole time bleaker street daytime in the heat you would definitely enjoy this one quite a bit this one is casual leaning but you can get away with it just because how fresh and green it is work wise as well but i see it more as a casual scent 
very outdoorsy type of a scent. So if you are going outside to walk or going to you know, like an outdoors mall, for example, or just going to get some coffee outdoors or like, you know, summertime, summer evening or so, or daytime in general, Bleecker Street, it's a very good one. Very well-performing, fresh, green summer fragrance in terms of that beautiful one that I personally love, 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 love love a lot. A bleaker street is one of those scents that it, it means a lot to me. The next fragrance I have on this list it's Amouage Beach Hut. Oh my god. I truly enjoy this scent a lot. Even though I'm not a big fan of mint. Mint just doesn't do it for me. I don't know what it is about mint and fragrances. It just doesn't do it for me. Very rarely when I find a very minty scent that I enjoy. But this one, Beach Hut does it for me, especially like daytime, it performs very well. It would make you feel ultra fresh with that citrusy aspect, with that minty aspect, with that green aspect, with that performance it gives you. It makes you feel clean. It just, it makes you feel like ultra clean. That's how I feel about Beach Hut when I wear it during daytime, summertime. It just like, you are in the heat outside and I was like, dude, I feel clean. This is a great scent. I feel like ultra clean. This is me talking to myself when I have this fragrance on. It's very enjoyable daytime, summertime in the very hot scorching summer heat. And performance on this one is superb as well. Let's get these two colorful Zerjov bottles out of the way because they're beautiful. I love them both. Uh, one, it's very popular, but very controversial. And the other one is a slept on fragrance. Not a lot of people really talk about it. I don't know why, but I personally love it. Let's start off with Torino 21 by Zerjov. Another very minty, citrusy type of a scent. Beautiful, but classy, dude. Very classy, very sophisticated. If Beach Hut makes you smell ultra clean, and that's the purpose of it, this one, it makes you smell clean but sophisticated. There's some sophistication about Torino 21 that I can't describe. Beautiful fragrance. I personally enjoy it a lot. This is definitely going on my vacation to Mexico. I know that for sure. I need to wear this one a lot and enjoy it on my trip there. So uh, Torino 21, it's one of those fragrances I personally enjoy. But I see a lot of people don't like it. A lot of people love it. A lot of people think, ah, I love it, but it doesn't last on myself. I would say for people that doesn't like it, just give it a chance because that happened to me personally. I loved the opening when I first sprayed it on and I was like, oh, this is the scent for me. Then in the med, it became very uh, minty and I was like, okay, I don't know. I'm not sure about this scent, but then it just turns beautiful. And that's one of those fragrances that I dream about when I have it at night, like in my dreams. I told you that story on my part one video, go check it out. This is one of those scents, just give it another try and it'll grow on you. It grew on me and it'll grow on you. The next one I have on this list is Amabile. This one is like very green apples, very vibrant. Look at that color. It smells just like that color. It's very musky, green apples, very citrusy. Oh my God, this has got some addictive note into it that I just cannot describe. I personally do enjoy this one a lot. Probably I should take it to on my vacation as well, but I just, I don't wanna take two Zerjavs. And when it dries down, it becomes very much office appropriate, musky, clean, green apple, very citrusy scent. Try it out if you just want it a very much beast mode type of a very fresh scent, try Amabile out. It's very vibrant, very colorful, but it's beautiful. Let's get this one out of the way. Elysium O Intense by Roja Parfum. I love this one, dude. It's very fresh, but very much white floral as well. So it smells fresh and pretty. This one, it's a very good candidate for Mexico as well. I don't know what would I take on my trip to Mexico. I'm just, I'm just gonna do a video on that right before that trip. If you are interested on that video, please let me know in the comment section down below. But Elysium, it's a very good candidate for a vacation type of like a very warm weather type of a thing. 
Elysium, the one before that, it's a great one on its own, but it's much fresher with a woody undertone. This one is definitely darker and floral. So it is that fresh, but a little darker and floral at the same time. And I just love it for that. I just feel it like it's got more complexity into it. Next one up is Aqua Universalis Forte. Oh my God, I haven't worn this one in a long time. This one, it smells pretty. You know, like citrusy, floral, but pretty at the same time. It would smell great on a woman, but great on a man as well. Especially in that hot, scorching summer heat. Oh my God, this one does beautifully. I really want to wear this one. Maybe I'll make it my scent of the day. On my previous video that I just did before that, I really craved Esfar Khan by Hormone Jane. I just wanted to make it my scent of the day. But now I really want to wear and feel like wearing Aqua Universalis Forte. Especially that I didn't really wear it this year yet. And Esfar Khan as well. Oh my God. I need to wear these two fragrances. So I'll see what can I do. Which one is this one? Okay, this is Amaris Om by MFK Maison Francis Kirk John. This one, it's very office appropriate. This one is very fresh, but woodsy in the background. Beautiful, classy, cologne type of a smell. Fresh, but cologne -y. I personally do enjoy this one quite a bit. And especially for the summertime, it does well. Amaris Om by uh, MFK. That's one of those ones that I need to wear pretty soon. I haven't worn it in a long time, as a matter of fact. Let's just get the... Uh, rest of MFKs out of the way because I have a lot of MFKs. I enjoy that brand a lot and they do have great fragrances for the summertime. Staples on my collection. Aqua Celestia, the regular one, daytime, and Aqua Celestia Forte, nighttime or evening time. This one is much fresher, thinner. It'll do better daytime in this scorching summer heat. This one is definitely stronger. It performs much better and it projects a lot and it's got a little bit of a floral aspect into it that I personally do enjoy. Aqua Celestia Forte, I did my scent of the day the other day, maybe last, last week, yeah, it was last week. Go follow me on Instagram and TikTok to see my daily scent of days and short videos that I do there regularly. Notes Punch, that's my name everywhere, Instagram and TikTok. I put on probably like 14, 15 sprays or so. I didn't count, so I am assuming that's how many sprays I put on there. I was going out to pick something for work and it was a nice area so I took advantage to have some nice dinner because Papa needs to eat. And um, I did the mistake of spraying like 15 sprays and it was way too strong like driving there. I just had to blast the AC to actually push that scent behind me because I suffocated myself in the car. It smelled great the rest of the night until tomorrow morning it was still projecting of my skin. Uh, this one is just amazing. It's got some great, great performance. Aqua Celestia Forte, try it out um, if you love this type of smells. Let's get these two last Zerjavs, uh, old school bottle Zerjavs out of the way. This one is Neo, beautiful one. Kind of smells like in the vein of Bergamot 22, but this one on the greener, a little bit old schoolish side beautiful one i personally enjoy this one a lot it's got some great great performance for being a very fresh scent oh my god neo every time i smell it i was like this is it this is it for me i remember back in the day it was between neo for me and bergamot 22 these two was like head to head against each other all the time which one i prefer best but I feel like I gravitate a little bit toward Bergamot 22 because it just makes me feel more. There's these type of fragrances that they make you feel more, even though both of them smell great. And probably you would prefer Neo over Bergamot. But every time I pull Neo out of my closet and I smell it, I was like, this is one of the best scents for real though. Crazy good. And I should wear it. I, I already wore it twice this summer that's how much i love it and now i feel like i need to wear this one again as well the next one up and the last one from the house of zerjaf i have here on this list is Uden. oh my god this one it's lemony 
fresh, citrusy, beautiful, boozy, a little bit of vanilla, very sexy. This one on like nighttime or evening time, daytime, you just cannot go wrong with it. Udon is Udon, bro. You just cannot go wrong with it. I just love this one a lot. It lasts or projects on my skin. I've been having this bottle for like over 10 years. It was giving me like five, six hours and I was happy with that. Now, it doesn't end. I don't know what happened, but it doesn't end. I wore it the other day, follow me on Instagram. Uh, going out, I was, daytime, somewhere, I forgot where it was. It lasted on me all day, all night, until I woke up in the morning. I was still smelling it on my skin. It was beautiful. I just had to wear it uh, for brunch as well. I was just dreaming about it at night as well. Uden by uh, Zerjaf, it's a beautiful, beautiful one. One of my most complimented, um, very pretty smelling, handsome smelling, I would say, not pretty, handsome smelling Zerjafs. Try it out. Last but not least is this Blue Beasts in terms of Ambroxan and compliments as well. And I'm talking about Percival. This one, it's very fresh, very lemony, very Ambroxany, but different. Percival, it's a beautiful one by the house of uh, Parfum de Marly. It, it's very versatile as well. It could be one of my favorite fresh summer fragrances in terms of Parfum de Marly. I love Greenlee and Sedley as well. Unfortunately, I just don't own any of this original bottle. I own very great dupes of them. That's why I feel like I need to wait on spending the money on uh, uh, Greenlee and Sedley, even though I love them a lot. And if I had them in my collection, I would definitely add them into this list. It would be on my clone list that I would add into my designer list. So if you are interested on my designer list that I'm gonna be wearing the most this summer, please let me know in the comment section down below. So this is pretty much it. This video is already getting way too long. And the good thing is I cut it already in half. So don't forget to check out part one first or later, it doesn't really matter. And let me know in the comment section down below what are your favorite summer fragrances that are you gonna be wearing the most this summer? I'm curious and I would love to know in the comment section down below. Let me know also if you wanted a designer list, I can do that video for you. I will do it for you, but I just need your approval first. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok, Note Sponge, and see you guys next time. Peace.